Want to settle in this weekend with a cozy mystery? Peril in Pink is the first in a new series from author Sydney Lee. She joins us now with more on this bed and breakfast whodunit. Congratulations Thank on you. the book launch. Thank you so Got much. Got some photos from the launch on uh, on Sunday yes. at a different drummer bookstore in yes. uh, in Burlington. So shout out to uh, to Ian and shout out to Erin Pepler and another author uh, friend who who was there that yeah, day. Yeah, she was. These she are was. her photos. So oh, that's thanks, awesome. Erin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is a cozy mystery? Okay, so a cozy mystery is um, uh, a part of the mystery uh, field. You, you go from very dark to very light within mystery, and cozy is at the lightest. Okay. So we're talking there's uh, no sex, there, the violence is off screen, it's an amateur sleuth, and it's always set in a cozy community. Not necessarily small town, but cozy communities. So you kind of get to know the quirky characters, you get to know the town, and it becomes kind of like its own character. Okay. So so the character in this one yes. is the Pearl. It's a bed and breakfast. Yes. Uh, and and it's set in Hudson Valley. But y you said that you kind of you kind of modeled it on a on an Ontario B and B. I did. So Prince Edward County has a beautiful motel named called the June Motel, and uh, they had a Netflix series called Motel Makeover when they were getting their second one prepared. And I I was glued to that series, and I thought this is this is my absolute like ideal setting for a cozy mystery so I took you know a lot of inspiration for that and I kind of went with it. Okay and how, how do you write a mystery like is it do you have kind of do you know the end when you're writing it? I think I do but sometimes the characters take over okay. and they you know I this one actually I had I thought I knew who did it and about halfway through this character went hmm and I went oh my god it was you so it actually surprised oh. me I didn't know okay. I had somebody I'm else going to planned. ask you off camera then because I don't <laughs> want to do any spoiler alerts but I thought I I was like okay I didn't I didn't see this coming <laughs> oh that's great <laughs> I that's thought good I had somebody in mind okay this is the obvious suspect yes. right yeah right yeah so that well that's what you hope so yes. <laughs> very cool and and I love too that this one has an aging rock star in it <laughs> trying to make his comeback <laughs> yeah that's right uh, you know I think part of like as we said with the quirky characters you really have a whole field like there's there's the the aunt that used to follow the Grateful Dead there's a mom that's the retired principal you know you just have a whole gamut of people to uh, hopefully fall in love with and want to see again yeah and, and do you are you always looking for mysteries like you're always like okay that could that person could be a character this could be a setting absolutely you know there's always inspiration and a lot of it I take for for from people that I meet, you know, and uh, you don't want to model somebody exactly, but certainly qualities or expressions or, you know, there's all sorts of things. There's yeah. inspiration everywhere. Yeah, okay. Um, when you, so so this is the first in the series, uh, just out yesterday. Yesterday, yes. congratulations on <laughs> the book you. launch. So will the others in the series, will they be set at the same B&B? Yeah, that, this is, it's called the Hudson Valley um, Mystery Series. Okay. So yeah, it'll all be set at the Pearl Bed and Breakfast and uh, hopefully there'll be lots of, lots of books to come. Yeah. So. And I guess setting in the States, in, in upstate New York, that's, that's kind of a, you're going for the most readers, right? Right, yeah. Um, my publisher is American yeah. and it just, it kind of resonated with them. Um, I definitely wanted something that felt a little bit uh, like Prince Edward County and I really felt that Hudson Valley really nailed that. Oh, very cool, very cool. Because you're from Bronte, so not very far, yes. far yeah. away. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Which is in itself a great place for a cozy mystery. It's yeah. such a, a beautiful village, so you know, you never know. Oh, always <laughs> looking for cozy mysteries. What, what's your favorite cozy mysteries to read? I love, there's so many, um, Vicki Delaney, who actually lives in Prince Edward County. She's probably, I, I look up to her so much. She's got, I think, 50 books out right now, wow. four series, and everyone is stellar. So she's certainly somebody that I always read. Okay, so it's available now everywhere, yes. right? Okay, yep. Peril in Pink, the first in the series. Let us know how you like it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks so we'll much get for the, having uh, me on. the details up on our website, chch.com slash morning live.